Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Happy Sunday. Hallelujah. How are you? This is a new glorious week and we give the Lord all the glory in Jesus name. Amen. This is every word of God for daily living. Precious Father, we bless you, we give you glory, honor, adoration, all worship, all glory, all adoration. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Most High, who was and is and still to come. Oh Lord, I bless you and I say thank you, Father, for there's no like unto you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for making us to see this new week, oh Lord, it's just by your mercy, oh God. Thank you for your mercy and your grace in our life. Blessed be your glorious name. For you are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone you will never share your glory with anybody almighty god that is your name you are the lord that is your name you will never share your glory with anyone you will never share your glory with anybody almighty god that is your name heavenly lord you are wonderful you are excellent you are mighty we worship you lord for you are wonderful you got the whole world in your hands heavenly father heavenly lord your name is wonderful your name is excellent lord you are beautiful i worship you lord for you are wonderful you got the whole world in your hands oh you got the whole world in your hands 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 so yes lord you got the whole world king of kings lord of lord ancients of days you got the whole world in your hands so lord now like unto you great and mighty god the only true one the great god we give you glory honor adoration in the name of jesus oh lord we are here again to receive your word we pray oh god that the spirit of your word oh god will be we pass to our heart oh lord and give us understanding lord and shine your light in our heart oh lord even as your word is being spoken i humble myself lord jesus speak to us oh god speak to me oh god and manifest yourself oh lord and let your word oh god bless someone's heart heal someone deliver someone in the name of jesus i ban the forces of darkness against your word and i decree the judgment of fire of god upon them in the name of jesus that they shall not prevail neither shall they come to pass that the word of god will bear fruits in our heart in the name of jesus it will fall on the further ground the enemy will not crush it in the name of jesus amen thank you father blessed be your holy name for what you're about to do we give you glory lord be exalted oh lord in jesus name i pray amen hallelujah glory be to god our topic today is righteous ways to fight the devil and go to heaven amen this is by pastor parika the international director of the holy survival movement worldwide shot from horemo today is sunday april 17th 2022 our text thing from the book of ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 20 you can please take time to read that by yourself our key verse is taken from the book of john chapter 8 verse 44 ye are of your father the devil and the lust of your father ye will do he was a murderer from the beginning and a Abode not in the truth, abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Ah, may God deliver all his children that we will not fall into the hands of the devil. In the name of Jesus, amen. I take our reading. 
you are born again, it is like someone that has climbed to the top of a very high tree who must be cautious or else he falls to the ground. What it means is that you are in a battle and you must be conscious of the forces that want to destroy your soul. You must be very conscious because you are at the top of the tree. In order to win individually and collectively in a holiness river movement, the true ministry of God, you need to do this right things. You have to live in this attitude. Uh, point one says you must put on the whole armor of God. Yeah, you must put on the whole armor of God, be equipped with the word of God and maintain holiness without which you cannot see the Lord. You must maintain holiness without which you cannot stand against the devil. It is with the whole armor you fight and you take victory over the devil. Hallelujah. Our second point here says stand the face of in the in the face of battle. Stand and face your battle. You must stand. It's no time for you to be running to a pastor or running to a looking for one seer to see for you. You must stand and face that battle. In prayer, you must stand. It is not a simple battle. So don't, don't, don't be casual about it. Satan is behind those rising up in holiness of our movement, rising against us. Satan is behind them promoting evil in his churches. But you as a child of God, you must stand. If you relent in prayer, your eyes will will go for, for it. Your eyes will go into the world. Your eyes will go for it. You must be fervent in the place of prayers. Rise up. Fight in the name of Jesus against anyone. The devil is rising against the righteous children of God. Against his righteousness. Even if it is one person, carry all the armor. Even if it is only you, carry the whole armor. He said, carry, put on the whole armor of God. Don't let anyone to drop down. You are seeing one man, but do you know how many demons is with him? So therefore, you must put on the whole armor of God to be able to stand firm and fight that, that, that spirit, that, that demon, that situation. And God will give you the victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Use the right attitude and not carnality. Maintain righteousness and that wicked one will not touch you. As far as you have your righteousness and you are holy, that wicked one cannot touch you because it is seen is finally. So therefore, be, be firm in the Lord. Stand firm that he will not see anything in your life and he can't touch you in Jesus' name. Amen. Fast and pray to stop even one man. When the spread lies against the movement or against your leader, stand on the side of truth. Speak the truth you know and be convicted of it and save your soul from danger. The truth you know, hold it firm. Don't let anybody tell you a lie. Don't let anybody take it from you. Hold it because that is your life. The wicked one is not the devil. Human beings are carrying carrying fancy that and wickedness are all around human beings so human beings are even fierce they are looking for your soul you must stand in the place of prayer there are some things in their tongues that if that if they are shooting it at you except you take it to God and plead for help you are finished stand and fight for your soul. You see some, they have evil powers. When they talk, before you say, yes, okay, I agree, you don't even know because that power has taken over you. That is why you must be a prayerful woman of God, a prayerful man of God to be able to overcome. Use the word of God to fight this battle. Use the word of God to fight this battle. The, the, the devil. It is the hermit of salvation and the sword of the spirit. Apply the word of God to every situation and it will save you. Hallelujah. Our thought for the day says, the righteous keeps himself and the wicked cannot touch him. Let's begin to pray. Say, Lord, help me to keep myself. Jesus, help me to keep myself. Oh, let me not be exposed to the wicked one. Help us, oh God, to keep ourselves in righteousness and holiness that the wicked 
wicked one cannot touch us. Oh Lord, uphold us, oh God. Help us to stand firm in your righteousness and your holiness. The yoke of sin be broken. The powers of darkness be destroyed. Everyone that is struggling, I pray for grace for them to stand in your holiness and in your righteousness. Father, I pray to you, oh God, that they will stand to the end in the name of Jesus. Give them grace to overcome, Father. I pray in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for teaching us your word. Blessed be your holy name. We give you glory and adoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a glorious Sunday. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.